the whole story. She's below decks if you'd like to know the details. Stalk flowers again. It is good to see you alive and well. Captain Killeen is ashore looking for a crew who will not attempt to seize the ship. I would worry, but Lambour is with her. Those who trouble Killeen when Lambour is near often get their heads twisted backward. The mutineers? Some met Sithis. Others fled like the dry skin fools they are. Captain Killeen commands this ship. I honor my captain, and stood by her during the mutiny. The ship is still ours, but her crew is gone. We are not alone. First Mate Lambour stood with us, as did Kassan Five Claw. Even little Nicoline wielded a dagger for Kaleen. Zuth, she is lucky to be alive. Besotted, sun-blessed little fool. Captain Kaleen told the crew we would no longer raid Breton Galleons. By order of King Vaharajad. Breton galleons have much treasure, thus the crew was displeased. When you visit the shops and markets, be sure to tell them the Daggerfall Guard said. Work builds character, they say. A fine day here in Daggerfall. Indeed, indeed. I am Moog, the music maker. I am a craftsman. I make beautiful instruments. Ah, I know what you are thinking. An orc? Making delicate instruments? Carrying a lute instead of an axe? For sale? For sale? Are you mad? These instruments take me years to make, each one lovingly crafted. I travel the world for the woods, the inlay materials. Sell them? It would be like selling my own children. I'm actually not a very good musician, but I am a good craftsman. Stay out of trouble and we'll get along just fine. Go! 
a lot to do here. If you want a horse, then we have something to talk about. If you want gossip, find the tavern. If you want a horse, then we have something to talk about. If you want gossip, find the tavern. I'm a guard. Suspicion is my occupation. Come closer, Vestige. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried-up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Enter my mind, Vestige and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. Part of the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. 
The moth priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a Dragonborn as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of Giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Farr, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manam Marco, the traitor, the King of Worms. A powerful necromancer, and your executioner. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost Amulet of Kings. Many Marco convinced Varen that the Amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the Dragonfires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the Dragonborn. By tradition, only the Dragonborn can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Baron conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Varen chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. Sai Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Council. While Lyris was Varen's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. The Thans are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council, a powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. 
Whip his